This is Sky News, the headlines at five o'clock. A world first. A nurse in West Yorkshire receives a potentially life-saving COVID-19 treatment for those who can't have a vaccine. Mass testing begins in Wales with a woman widowed just yesterday, the first in line. I pray to God that everybody who's listening to me now, please come up and have a test done, okay. like I have. Also this evening, Whitehall sources tell Sky News Boris Johnson did try to water down the Priti Patel bullying report. Virtually there, the pandemic leads to a G20 summit with a difference. And in sport, Chelsea go top of the Premier League with victory at Newcastle, but can Tottenham replace them there against Manchester City? Hello there, good evening. An intensive care nurse in West Yorkshire has become the first person in the world to receive a potentially life-saving antibody treatment for COVID-19. It's designed for people with a weakened immune system who can't be vaccinated and could offer protection from the coronavirus for up to a year. 5,000 people will eventually take part in the clinical trial, including 1,000 in the UK. Sky's Inzman Rashid has this report, a UK broadcast exclusive. What you're seeing here is a world first, potentially life-saving treatment, a part of the picture which could help bring us back to some normality. It's an antibody cocktail specifically designed to protect people from COVID-19. Just that glimmer of hope yeah. that we're going to get back to some kind of normality and get out again. Yeah. Karen, an intensive care nurse in Yorkshire, is the first person on the planet to receive it. I think it's really important because we're there, we're around it all the time um, and I know I'm not the only person from our unit that signed up for this so, you know, it's a good thing and, and we're sort of being, we're being role models I guess in a little way. Professionally I've obviously seen the, the impact that Covid's had over the last, sort of, since March, working back in intensive care with both waves so professionally I've seen the devastation really that it's caused for patients and their relatives. I miss my friends, I miss going out for my monthly meals with my girls and hugging my girls and anything I can do to get back to some kind of normality, I'd do it. This antibody injection, which is set to be fully rolled out next year, offers an alternative to those in whom the vaccine won't work. Vaccines usually work by pushing the immune system to create its own antibodies to fight off infection. But this may not work for the sick or elderly who have a weakened immune system. The antibody treatment gets around that by putting antibodies straight into the recipient. It's hoped that protection will be instant and last between six months and a year. We can't understate the importance of this. I mean, any interventions to help us again in the fight against COVID are, are, are hugely important. And um, we've had the fantastic news just in the last week around the, um, the effectiveness of the, the vaccines. But the reality is that there will be some of the population that won't mount an antibody response to those vaccines. So this is just another um, potential intervention to help. Across the UK, there are nine sites working rapidly in the final stages of trialling this drug. 500 people will receive it, whilst another 500 will think they've been given it, so medics can work out its full effectiveness. The next stages will see it rolled out in care homes and even prisons. This type of um, passive immunity won't ultimately make the big difference uh, for the control of the epidemic. What it will do is enable us to protect particularly vulnerable sections of society, the sort of people who, if they got the infection, would almost certainly have very severe disease and have a much higher chance of dying. The financial cost, however, is high. Just one dose costs over £450. It's why they'll administer millions instead of billions. But this is yet another glimmer of hope, another piece of our armour in our fight against COVID-19. And people like Karen, her colleagues and many other millions of vulnerable people can be protected from this disease which has consumed our lives. And Inzi joins us live from Wakefield this evening. Inzi, another day in another potential game changer in the fight against COVID-19.
Yeah, that's right, Isabel. I think you have to look at this this way. The vaccine is the main body uh, of treatment that can protect us from COVID-19. And this antibody cocktail that we've seen today administered to the first person on the planet is essentially the arms off the vaccine, off the body of that treatment. And this is something that really can help protect millions of people, not just here in the UK, but across the world. Right now, they're in the final stages of those trials, giving it to the very first first people in the world. That first woman we saw, a nurse from here, from Wakefield, Karen, uh, just moments after we finished filming with her, one of her colleagues came in to also get a dose of the vaccine. But 5,000 people across the globe will be taking part in this trial. And it's hugely significant because this is for people who may not be able to uh, access the vaccine because it may not work for them, particularly people who are incredibly ill, uh, those who potentially are cancer patients, those who maybe have severe kidney problems as well with weakened immune systems. And what this antibody treatment will do will allow them to be protected from COVID-19 straight away, straight after taking it, and up to a year as well. That's the huge significance of this treatment. And also for healthcare workers, we know how hard they've worked throughout this pandemic, especially here in the UK. Getting this treatment straight away could mean they could be protected from COVID-19 and carry on fighting on the front line to protect people. So a huge step today and an incredible step for, for Wakefield as well, the first person on the planet getting that treatment today. There was a lot of discussion today as well, Isabel, I have to say, about uh, getting back to some form of normality. The medics here were talking about it. Karen, the nurse that we spoke to, was talking about it. And that is the hope for the future, that yes, the vaccine can provide that, but this treatment as well, this antibody treatment, could also bring us back to some form of normality. Lindsay, thank you.